So please know that our hearts are with those families in Winder, Georgia, who are forced to face this act of senseless violence. This is not normal. This is not normal. Students and teachers deserve to know that their schools are safe. They should focus on learning, not lockdowns. While the president and vice president have taken historic action to reduce gun violence, more must be done to keep our schools and communities safe. We continue to call on Congress to do something, to do something. We need universal background checks. We need ban to ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines, require safe storage of firearms, invest in violence prevention programs, and pass a national red flag law. Enough is enough. And I cannot say this enough, which is enough is enough. For the new school year, today is supposed to be an exciting day for students. At approximately 10.20 a.m. this morning, the Barrett County Sheriff's Office uh, received alerts about reports of an active shooter and radio traffic from school resource officers concerning the same concern, or having the same concern. Within minutes, law enforcement was on scene, as well as two school resource officers assigned here to the school who immediately encountered the subject within just minutes of this report going out. Once they encountered the subject, the subject immediately surrendered to these officers and he was taken into custody. Additionally, what I want you to know as of now, there are four uh, individuals who are deceased from this incident, nine that have been taken to local hospitals with various injuries. Uh, of those that were, have, are deceased, two are students and two are teachers here at the, at the school. As the sheriff mentioned earlier this morning, the shooter is in custody. His name is Colt, that's C-O-L-T, Gray. He is a 14-year-old student here at the school, G-R-A-Y. He is a 14-year-old student here at the high school. Again, he has been taken into custody. Uh, he, is, he will be charged with murder and he will be tried as an adult and uh, handled as an adult. I never imagined I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over something that happened today, the pure evil that happened today. I cannot thank the people behind me for the support they give me today to give this office and give this staff. This hits home for me. I was born and raised here. I went to school in this school system. My kids go to this school system. I'm proud of this school system. My heart hurts for these kids. My heart hurts for our community. But I wanna make it very clear that hate will not prevail in this county. I want that to be very clear and known. Love will prevail over what happened today. I assure you of that. I don't know why it happened. I may not ever know. We may not ever know. But I ask that you and our community lift up our schools, lift up our public safety, and that, again, we do not let this hateful event prevail as to what happened today. Obviously the shooter was armed and our school resource officer engaged him and the shooter quickly realized that if he did not give up, that it would end with an OIS or an officer involved shooting. He gave up, got on the ground and the deputy took him into custody. Sheriff, any idea how the weapon got inside the school and was there any warning that this was gonna happen? Not that I'm aware of, again, very early. And we're still looking into that, whether or not, or how he obtained it and how he got it in the school. 
the shooter was interviewed and he is he was speaking with our investigators early earlier along with the GBI. Oh, our schools will be closed for the remainder of this week as we cooperate fully with law enforcement to get answers to the many questions that we all have about this incident here today. But as we are closed, our central offices will remain open where we will have grief counseling available for our community uh, every day this week and thereafter as we support each other through this terrible event. Let me start by saying that there is no evidence to report that any additional shooter was involved in this incident today. Uh, investigators are actively pursuing, however, any leads of any potential associates of the shooter that was involved in this incident. There is no evidence of, of a list of schools being targeted. However, there is a lot of evidence that is being recovered and evaluated. We're going through everything to determine if there is any active threats to any schools in this area, this county, and the state of Georgia. And we will continue to monitor that uh, throughout this investigation, throughout the evening as we, as we carry on. I do, however, want to identify the victims of this, of this incident today, those that lost their life in this tragic event. Mason Shermerhorn, age 14, who is a student here at the school. Christian Angelo, who was 14, also a student here at the school. Richard Aspinwall, not uh, sure of his age, but he was a teacher here at the school. And Christina uh, uh, Irmer, Irm, Irmery, I'm sorry for my pronunciation, who was also a teacher here at the school. I also wanna, wanna bring note to one very special thing that we do not need to forget about here, is we have heroes in our midst. We've talked about our law enforcement personnel, our fire, our EMS. Uh, those that are deceased are heroes in my book. Those that are in the hospital recovering right now are heroes in my book. But also the heroes that we need to remember is our faculty and staff here at this school. They acted admirably. They were heroes in the actions that they took. The protocols at this school and this system activated today, prevented this from being a much larger tragedy than what we had here today. When someone preys on kids, it's tragic. Like I said earlier, hate is not gonna prevail in our county and hate's not gonna prevail in our state. And pure evil did what happened today. That's all I can tell you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Governor. More details have emerged on the 14-year-old suspect in a deadly shooting at a Georgia high school on Wednesday, who killed four people and wounded nine others at Appalachie High School in the city of Winder, northeast of Atlanta. The suspect was taken into custody and has been identified as Colt Gray. Investigators said he was interviewed by law enforcement last year over online threats about committing a school shooting. Director of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation Chris Hosey said Gray will be charged and tried as an adult. Hosey identified those killed in the attack at a press conference Wednesday night. Mason Shermerhorn, age 14, who is a student here at the school. Christian Angelo, who is 14, also a student here at the school. Richard Aspinwall, not uh, sure of his age, but he was a teacher here at the school. And Christina uh, uh, Irmery, I'm sorry for my pronunciation, who was also a teacher here at the school. This was the first mass shooting in the United States since the start of the school year, only a few weeks since it began in many school districts. 
It has rattled the community of 18,000, which gathered earlier on Wednesday for a prayer vigil. Today, Abel has stepped in. So now let us be good. The FBI said local law enforcement had interviewed a 13-year-old subject and his father last year regarding online threats to commit a school shooting. Investigators said, quote, the father stated he had hunting guns in the house, but the subject did not have unsupervised access to them. The subject denied making the threats online. Jackson County alerted local schools for continued monitoring of the subject. Georgia officials confirmed the statement was in connection to the subject in custody. County Sheriff Judd Smith said the gunman on Wednesday was armed with a, quote, AR platform style weapon or semi-automatic rifle. Smith said the subject was quickly confronted by deputies assigned to the school and immediately got on the ground and surrendered. Once under arrest, the subject was speaking with investigators who believe he was acting alone. Authorities declined to say if they knew what motivated him. Smith also told reporters that all nine of those hospitalized were expected to recover.